Hi everyone, this is Todd O'Dell with Engine.com. In this video tutorial, I'll be going over the installation of and the use of the Engine Minecraft plugin. This plugin is intended to be used with servers that run on bucket or bucket derivatives, such as Tekka Classic as well as the Minecraft Forge mod. As stated in our Minecraft Features video, the plugin allows website owners to seamlessly connect their website with their server. We've made an effort to keep installation as easy as possible, but you will have to go through a few steps to get your server set up correctly. To keep things simple, we've placed all relevant download links in the video description below. For starters, you'll need to make sure that your server has both a bucket-based structure as well as a vault plugin installed. To sync your groups and ranks for many modules and functions, you will also want to have a permissions plugin like Permissions X, Essentials, or B Permissions. Once you have these installed, you can download the plugin. If you haven't already added Minecraft to your website's games list, navigate to your website's admin panel. From there, go to your Games tab. Click on the Add Game button. A small window will appear. Type Minecraft into this window, then hit Enter. Make sure that you select the PC version of the game. With Minecraft added onto your games list, you should notice that the Minecraft block icon appears next to the tab. If you click on this icon, it will take you to your Minecraft management page. From here, you can download the plugin by clicking on the Download Plugin button twice. Alternatively, you can download our plugin directly from its bucket homepage, the link to which is provided in the video description. Installation is straightforward. You'll want to add the plugin to your Minecraft server's directory in the Plugins folder. Once this is done, you can verify the plugin is installed correctly by running your server once. Back on your website, you will need to add your server. Click on the Add Server button in your Minecraft management page, then fill out the pop-up wizard. When you fill out the installation wizard completely, it's time to authenticate your server. A second pop-up window will contain an authentication key which you can enter into your server command console. Type in engine key followed by the key that is provided to you by our system. Alternatively, you can authenticate your server from within the game by using forward slash engine key. If all goes well, your server should be authenticated and your plugin should now be functional. There are several other commands that allow you to interact with the plugin directly through the in-game client or server console. Please note that you need to enter engine before any commands or slash engine if you are entering from within the game. The push command will manually synchronize your website to your user's tags and ranks. This is not a command that you'll want to spam. Depending on how many unique users your server has, it can take quite a while to finish. If you find yourself in need of technical assistance or are experiencing issues with a plugin, you can use the report command. It will generate a text file in your Minecraft server directory, which you can then send to us. Our support team can be reached by creating a support ticket at engine.com support form. It may also be helpful to enter the debug command prior to sending us a report, as this will run your server in debug mode, which gives us greater detail on whatever issue your server is experiencing. A single website on our system can handle multiple servers simultaneously. In order to do this, make sure that you have the plugin installed for each server and then you go through the authentication steps for each one individually. You can then create modules for each independent server. We get some frequently asked questions about our plugin. One of these is, which permissions plugin should I use? As stated previously, most permissions plugins will work with ours, but I use Essentials for this video. Our plugin expert also recommended Permissions X and B Permissions. Many users are also confused as to which versions of the plugin should be used. The latest version of our plugin that works with your Minecraft version should always be used. We recommend using the latest stable or beta versions of all other plugins in most cases. We will be adding more videos after this one, including tutorials for specific modules, such as the shopping module. If you have any specific questions, be sure to check out our wiki, visit our community forums, or even send us a support ticket. Links to all three locations are in the video description. We hope that this video gives you an idea of how the plugin can be used to enhance your players' experiences. Thanks for watching.